As we know that nothing is permanent in this world and so are our teeth. There may be various reasons, different reasons, different causes because of which one would lose their teeth. One of the reasons is aging. One more reason can be the bone that supports the teeth, that holds the teeth becomes weak because of various detrimental effects on the gum conditions. It can also be because of a continuous trauma to a tooth by an opposing tooth or by adjacent teeth because of a wrong bite. It can also be because a person may have met some accident or some trauma. It can also be because of severe decay in a tooth. The last one that I said is one of the most frequently encountered reasons for one losing their teeth. So when I'm asked, what is the best solution for a missing tooth? I undoubtedly consider that dental implants in today's times in contemporary dentistry is the best solution without a doubt because they are analogous to the dental roots and this is the best solution for a missing tooth in today's times. Now dental implants or implantology is not a very new branch to dentistry. It has been existing for the past 50 to over 50 years, around 70 years. The science of dental implants and implantology is not very new. For the past 40 to 50 years, I would say more than 50 years, dental implants have been practiced in the mainstream dentistry. For the past 20 to 25 years, we have seen a tremendous growth, exponential growth I would say, in terms of dental implants being used as an alternative treatment philosophy when it comes to replacement of teeth. Previously, bridges were given as a good treatment alternative for missing teeth. But there are many problems that are associated with giving bridges as a good treatment option. One of the leading problems is that two adjacent teeth adjacent to the missing tooth region have to be sacrificed even if those teeth are healthy. A lot of crown preparation that is crown cutting needs to be done for taking support of those teeth if a bridge needs to be delivered. Now this problem is not a small one because you are addressing one problem and you are creating new problems because of cutting of those teeth and this won't limit by itself as in as the complexity of what one has done by cutting two healthy teeth increases over a period of time the extent of the bridge that was given previously will keep on increasing for example for a single missing tooth if a three unit bridge has been given eventually over a period of around five years the two teeth that have been sacrificed, the crown structure that has been sacrificed to an extent will start decaying, the gums around it will start losing support and this extensiveness of a 3 unit bridge will later on increase to maybe a 5 unit bridge, to a 7 unit bridge, to a 9 unit bridge. It's a never ending story. So eventually whichever teeth a bridge takes support from they have to or they eventually will go for a toss. The field of implantology has evolved so much that these days for the past 5 to 10 years we have seen this trend that whenever a patient walks into your clinic and requires a replacement for a missing tooth or comes up with a tooth that is severely decayed and has to be extracted, the dental implant can be placed for the patient on the very same day. This process of placing an implant after removal of a teeth or on the very same day, it's called immediate implant placement. And there can be cases where you can give a crown or a prosthesis to those patients with the help of immediate loading implants. Therefore, we make sure that when the patient walks out of your center, he doesn't go out without teeth. There are new teeth that can be replaced on the very same day with the help of dental implants. Also, it's seen with dental implants that they help in maintaining the bone heights, the level of the bones in the missing teeth region. This is not the case with dental bridges because the areas where there is a missing teeth eventually between the pontic that is given in a dental bridge, the bone level keeps on decreasing in that region. But dental implants have this ability to hold the bone around it and maintain the level of the bone there. Also it is seen that with dental implants, the maintenance is excellent because the crowns or the prosthesis that is given with dental implants they can be removed every 6 to 8 months maybe in one year. 
like unscrewing action you can remove the crown out from the dental implant if multiple implants are given and maybe a hybrid prosthesis is given or a fixed prosthesis is given which is screwed in it can be unscrewed the prosthesis is removed the implants clean nicely the areas around the implants around the gums can be maintained well and the prosthesis fit back again so the maintenance is really good with the help of dental implants when you compare it with dental bridges the maintenance is not so great because the dental bridges once fixed with a certain cement they cannot be removed every time you want to clean beneath it so there are certain restrictions in terms of maintenance of dental bridges another reason why i say that dental implants are the best solution for missing teeth is because the kind of aesthetics that the solutions with dental implants can be achieved the aesthetics that can be achieved with dental implants for a missing teeth are almost similar to those of a natural teeth the way the gum line comes and you know touches the cervical area of a teeth it's really amazing no one can make out that this is a solution that's given with the help of a dental implant but with dental bridges definitely it can be made out that this is a prosthetic replacement or an artificial solution that's given to the patient there are n number of implant companies available in the market in today's times implant systems are also very diverse in terms of their design they can be a two piece implant also known as conventional implant when the main body of the implant is positioned inside the bone and the second piece that is the abutment jets outside the bone in the oral cavity the other type of implant system is a single piece implant or a single bodied implant which is usually used for immediate loading of a prosthesis there may be cases where the entire dentition that is all the teeth are supported on just four implants or many a time on just six implants these type of implant systems are manufactured by leading implant producers these systems can be used only in certain bone conditions you need to consult with your implantologist to have a better understanding of what kind of an implant system can be used in your case one more very important point to take notice of is that the dental bridges the crowns that are given for the dental bridges they are usually supposed to be replaced every 10 to 15 years they don't last more than that but in cases of dental implants it's almost like a lifetime solution when i say that the success of dental implants depends on various reasons one of the reasons is the clinician's skill during placing the implant if everything has gone right mostly the implants they usually last you lifetime also one single implant can be used to support many teeth like suppose you get one single implant done for a replacement of a single tooth maybe 10 years 15 years down the line if you lose more tooth then that very implant can be used to support the adjacent other teeth also which is not the case when it comes to dental bridges so overall there are so many factors that help us to conclude in the direction that dental implants are no doubt the best option in today's time when we talk about 2019 there's no other option that is as good as dental implants for a missing tooth replacement so overall there are so many factors that help us conclude that dental implants undoubtedly are the best solution in today's time when you talk about 2019 in today's time dental implants are the best solution for a missing tooth replacement